The Canadian Bovine Mastitis Research Network presents CMT, a simple and useful tool. The CMT, or California Mastitis Test, is a quick, easy, and low-cost test for the detection of subclinical infections in the other quarters of dairy cows. The CMT provides an indication of the number of somatic cells found in the milk. The CMT is performed in four steps. The first step is to make sure the teats are clean and free from dirt. Then, four strip in a strip cup and check for abnormal milk. In step two, always use the same paddle position from cow to cow, always on the same side of the animal, right or left. This will make it much easier to keep track of quarters when interpreting results. Collect milk from each quarter into the respective paddle cup, covering the bottom of each cup. If you look carefully, you will see that there are two circles in the bottom of each cup. These circles indicate the amount of milk and reagent that needs to be added for the test. For the third step, tilt the paddle to remove excess milk. Keep just enough milk so that it reaches the outer circle in the cup. Tilt the paddle back so that the milk level reaches halfway between the inner and outer circles. Finally, add an equal amount of reagent by filling each cup up to the inner circle. For the fourth and last step, mix the reagent with the milk by swirling the paddle for 10 to 30 seconds. You must interpret the results for all four quarters immediately. Maintain the swirling action and tilt the paddle from side to side and watch for any gelling of the mixture. Then pour out the content of the paddle and watch closely to see how the mixture pours out. Let's start the interpretation by the negative reaction. Here, the cup contains healthy milk. The mixture remains liquid and homogeneous. When pouring out the paddle, the mixture drips out normally. It should be noted that a trace reaction is often difficult to distinguish from a negative reaction. This is why it will not be shown in this video. And now, score one reaction. When rotating the paddle, the mixture swirls in the middle. If the rotating movement is stopped, the liquid covers the bottom of the cup. When pouring a score one mixture, it will drip out of the paddle gradually, despite some apparent thickening. Finally, score two and score three reactions. In this sequence, the cup on the left shows a score two reaction, which means that it is clearly positive. During the rotating movement, you can see some gel formation slightly rounded in the center of the cup. When the rotating movement is stopped, the gel collects at the bottom of the cup. The cup on the right shows a score 3 reaction, which means a strong positive. In this case, you can see a gel formation sharply rounded in the center of the cup. The gel sticks to the bottom of the cup, but not to the sides. Let's come back to the score 2 mixture. When you pour it out, a gelatinous mass falls out and may leave some liquid in the cup. When you pour out the score 3 mixture, a gelatinous mass also falls out but without leaving any liquid behind. Because of the qualitative aspect of the test, on-farm results may differ from what you see in the video. The interpretation may also vary slightly from one user to another. Here is a diagram to recap and visualize the difference in the appearance of each score during rotation and once the movement is stopped. You will notice that during the rotating movement, the score 1 mixture hollows out in the center. As for score 2 and score 3 mixtures, they are markedly rounded in the center. When the rotating movement is stopped, the mixture spreads at the bottom of the cup for scores 1 and 2, as opposed to a score 3 mixture, which remains in the middle. The ideal time to perform a CMT test is just before milking, 
If the CMT is not done just before milking, be sure to use teat dip to prevent infections. Each CMT score provides an approximation of the number of somatic cells per milliliter of milk. This is an estimate and not an exact value. Therefore, when there is a positive reaction, that is, from score 1 to score 3, the number can vary from 400,000 to more than 5 million cells per milliliter. Regardless of the exact number, the important thing is whether the quarter is positive or not. The CMT may be used in different situations. First, to verify the health status of a cow you wish to purchase. Second, to identify specific quarters for further testing and possible treatment when a cow has a high somatic cell count. Finally, to detect the presence of subclinical infections at the beginning of or during lactation as part of an other health management program. For more information, please consult your veterinarian. Simple, quick and low cost, the CMT is worth including in your dairying routine.